All right, y'all, we are starting this video off today yet again in Walmart. You guys seem to really like the Walmart videos. They're like, Walmart just has a lot of fans. Last time I was here in Walmart, I saw something in the fishing session that kind of caught my eye. So we're gonna pick that up. We are gonna get out of here. This place is so freaking packed. It should be a pretty cool video here today. Whew, after what feels like forever, finally today we're gonna be doing some freshwater fishing. I've been obsessed with saltwater fishing recently. I do not not like freshwater fishing anymore. There's just like a limited timetable in Delaware where you know the saltwater fishing is actually really good. But I'm excited. As you guys saw, we went into Walmart too. I don't know why every time I go into Walmart to try to film something, it is completely packed. Yeah, man, we went in and we picked up this. This is pretty much something I saw a while ago when I was in Walmart and I was like, yo, this is actually kind of cool. This is a whole big pack of inline spinners. Now I'm pretty sure this is not Walmart brand. It says Blue Fox. This is a budget, you know, big pack of inline spinners. This whole pack of five spinners was under $7. And they look exactly identical to one of my favorite inline spinners, which is a rooster tail. And those go for over $3 each. So really, if you think about it, if these are as good as rooster tails, aglias, you know, other spinners in that three-ish dollar category, if you buy five of those spinners just by itself, that's like, uh, that's like over $15. And we got five of these for six something. It's definitely under $7. I don't remember the exact price, but that is a good deal. So we're gonna be putting these things to the test here today. I'm actually at a body of water that I've never actually caught a fish out of before ever. I've been here like maybe three or four or five times and I've got skunked every single time. Now that was kind of like in the winter. So we have a few goals here for today. One, we're gonna see if these inline spinners, you know, are as good or maybe they're better than the competitors that are, you know, a little bit more expensive. And also I wanna catch my first fish out of this body of water. It is like 90 something degrees out, but I don't know, man, I have a good feeling. I do not wanna get skunked here at this body of water again. Let's get this video started here today. Oh wow, it's like that. You know when you step out of your car and it's a really hot day and it's just like boom. So I just took this one out of the package. This is a uh, comparison. The rooster tail is on the right and this guy is on the left. Dude, these things look pretty much like identical. I mean, besides like exact colors and everything. The Walmart one, uh, the plastic thing in the middle is a little bit longer, but for the most part, I mean, it's almost identical right there, man. Whew. All right, but let me tie, uh, tie one of these little guys on. All right, before we do anything here, I always, every time I come out here, I have to flip the jig around. Dude, all this, so much down wood and everything. Just pretty much worked all this and it cast it to the right a little bit and uh, yeah, rest in peace. I'm gonna find a good spot. We're gonna throw one of these spinners on. Dude, this is like all freaking thorns, man. Ow, 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 ow. Ugh, the life of a bank angler. I got one. Nice bluegill. The bluegill buffet is real out here. So here she is, man. Walmart spinner. Let's see in the water. I mean, it looks pretty good. Hopefully there's some fish hanging out here in the shallower water. It's actually pretty shallow right now. I did not think it was gonna be this shallow. And kind of like the thing about not fishing fresh water for a while, like I don't know what these fish are doing, man. The pickerel should, I mean, they should be hunting around. I don't know if they're like spawning right now or not. Bass though, I mean, they could either be spawning, they could be post-spawn. The other day it was like 50s, today it's like 90. They might all be confused. I mean, I don't really know what to, uh, hmm. I think we need to keep moving here. Mm, this is this is interesting. So the path over here is like overgrown. All right, so I think I kind of got my question answered a little bit. While I was walking over here, I passed by the boat ramp. There's actually a bass that it, it looks like it's bedding. I didn't see a bed under it, but uh, this guy was just pitching at it. I was like, yo, what is going on over here? It had to be on a bed, it was a big fish. But the other thing too, I see like tiny little, looks like fry around. So I don't know if these bass already spawned. First fish of the day on the spinner. Let's get that out of you, buddy. All right. That is pretty cool, man. I don't really catch many of these. Very, very fat little guy. Let's let him go right there. What the heck? On the drop? What is that? Come here, buddy. Holy crap. Okay. That is not what I was trying to do. Probably, honestly, like, the freaking opposite. All right, so I put a little uh, red-eye shadow on. I'm thinking, I mean, there's gotta be some nice bass down here, but um, 
This is uh, what the size. I mean, I snagged him, but yeah, man, I don't know what the heck. That is like the size of my freaking hand. That's probably the smallest catfish I ever caught. I'm gonna let that guy go right there. That is not what I was trying to do. I thought that was a bass. I thought I bit it on the fall. I guess it just fell right on him. Okay. Yep, just snagging every- Oh, dude, that guy bit it. What the heck? Yo, he freaking attacked. What the heck? Look at that. It's literally in his mouth. Yo, what the heck, man? These things are so vicious. That- Oh my gosh, man. Let's let that guy go right there. What the heck? I thought that was a little bass again, dude. This is like- I don't, I don't know, man. It's a weird day of fishing. This is like what kind of happens when I try to go out and film a video. Um, like, you know, for a specific topic. I really want to test these spinners out a little bit more. But I think I'm just like very good at getting sidetracked. Like, I was like, yo, I can go down here. I could throw this. I could throw this. Ended up snagging a catfish, caught a few feisty sunfish. But yeah, man, that bass and that pickerel are still in here somewhere. I've been here for like a long time, a couple hours. As I said, it's like freaking hot. It's like 90 something degrees. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the main lake, try to fish that a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens from there, I guess. Oh my gosh. All right, I've been pitching at this bass right here. Looks like he's on a bed. I've been doing this for like literally like 20 minutes now. Oh. I think I accidentally snagged it. Dude, I tried like everything, man. I don't even see this fish anymore. Okay, we are now bouncing. We're gonna be making a move to a place that I've only fished once. It should be pretty full of like muck, so hopefully we catch our first fish on top water of 2019 and also just catch a fish. I don't know. Missed one. Come on, come back for it. They're smacking it, they're just not grabbing it. I don't know if you guys hear that, but there are frogs that literally surrounded me. This frog in the water, man. This guy give me one fish. Can't fish here. What's that? You can't fish here. I can't fish here? No. Do you remember this development? Gloria? Gloria Borga? Because you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Is it a private? I didn't, I didn't know yeah. there's no signs or anything. Yeah, well, there's signs. Well, we're doing, in the yeah, we just got the HOA. And yeah, they're putting the signs state up. State police says you're right, 100%, yeah. putting yeah, but, uh, signs up. But, yeah. Okay. But they told me if I tell somebody to leave, they don't leave, quit them a call, and they come and they'll be prosecuted. So what exactly even was this, like, I don't even know, man. My goal was to kind of, you know, test out these spinners and see if these lures, you know, that are kind of like a budget option, cheaper lure are, you know, similar or better maybe even than the rooster tails and the aglias and stuff like that, that, you know, I usually buy for trout fishing, creek fishing, even bass fishing, like it's a good bass fishing lure. I did end up catching some fish, as you guys saw, I caught that red breast sunfish on the spinner. Yeah, they definitely like the budget spinners, but I really could not get anything else to bite at all. Now, mind you, I'm still relatively new to this area. I moved down here in September, so I'm still trying to figure out like these bigger lakes. I just want to explore all these areas and see what kind of fish are in them and see if I could catch fish in them. I easily could have, you know, went to a smaller pond and just loaded up on fish, but I like the challenge, you know, I want to catch fish in like a lot of these bodies of water out here. It's just fun to me, you know, to explore and do stuff like that. I don't know, man. Overall, I mean, we did catch some fish and I mean, I really did get a good feel for those lures. I gotta admit, I mean, for the price, they're kind of like exactly like a rooster tail almost. Bits and pieces, you know, are different sizes. It's not like an exact replica copy, but I mean, if I really was on a budget, I want to go out there and I know I was going to be going somewhere maybe rocky. I'm going to be losing a bunch of spinners. I might go for a pack like that over, you know, buying individual spinners. I mean, it's a good product, honestly. One thing I did notice sometimes when I was reeling in, you know, when you have a spinner and you kind of got to 
start the movement so that the blade starts spinning. Sometimes like it would kind of stop mid spin. Like I don't exactly know how to describe it, but it just wasn't like, you know, the nice even spin, like maybe some of the more expensive. But you can feel when that stops and you know, adjust accordingly, like give it a little jerk and then it goes right back to spinning. Definitely next time I go trout fishing or go to, you know, one of my creeks around here, maybe some smallmouth fishing, I'm definitely gonna bring these, give them a little try out there. Definitely, you know, if you guys did like this whole budget lore thing at Walmart, definitely let me know in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video please give this video a thumbs up that really would mean a lot to me i did see some other budget fishing stuff while i was at walmart so maybe i don't know if you guys like this maybe i could test those out as well you know compare them to more expensive products if you do enjoy my videos but you are not already make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there click that notification bell pretty much that will make sure that youtube notifies you like every time I put out a video. I know this video was not like super exciting, like the fishing, it was, you know, it's just not. As I said, I mean, I'm getting back into freshwater fishing and that was probably not the best place to go do that. But I, I just really want to explore places around here and I really want to find out how these freshwater fish are behaving at the moment. So don't worry, this channel is not going to get overrun by salt. We're still going to be doing some bass fishing, still going to be doing some creek fishing, hopefully maybe some trout fishing in the near future. I definitely want to get on some snakehead fish as well. And I definitely am going to do more saltwater fishing. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming on the channel. I'm telling you, I've been having so much fun making these videos recently. Like even this video, I didn't really, like it really wasn't a successful day in a sense at all. We caught a couple small-ish fish, we snagged a catfish, and we got freaking kicked out of it. <sighs> but yeah, man, to me, it's just about having fun being out there, you know, bringing you guys along with the experience. Just be, honestly, being out there, even though it was 90 freaking degrees, it's just so awesome to be on the water fishing. That is what it is all about, man, having fun. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently, man. It really does mean the freaking world to me. We got some really exciting stuff on the way coming. Yeah, man, all I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.